I've been reluctant to work on this vise just because it still works. But it's in need of some serious TLC and I'm not even sure I'm going to be able to get it apart because it's rusted out pretty bad. This is a Wilton. I'm not sure exactly what model it is. I don't think it's anything special. It's definitely not a bullet vise. But it's still a well-made vice, and it still seems to be from that era when Wilton made really high-quality um, vices for the homeowner. And so I figured this would be worth uh, taking apart, cleaning up, repainting, and making it nice. I'm not sure what I'm going to do about the jaws. I'm not sure I'll be able to get them out. I don't know. There's a whole lot of things that I'm going to encounter in this video. But I thought I would record it and document it and share it if it's uh, interesting. Seems like it wants to go. I'll let that sit for a minute. So there's a little keeper here that keeps this uh, screw from coming out. It's got an Allen head screw on it. Five thirty seconds. Looks pretty good, nice and straight. It's uh, really dry, really dry, but I'll fix that soon enough. Mm. Almost there. A couple taps maybe to break it loose. Bigger screwdriver. I need a vise to hold on to my vise. <clears throat> Probably gonna hit that with some heat. Let's see how bad these these jaws are. Can't even see what I'm doing. Blue Loctite, that's nice. appears to have been left out in the weather just a little bit and maybe in a bucket of water because there's a distinct line on the base where the rust stops or at least the bad rust All right, those ought to clean up pretty good Shall we try this again? <clears throat> Does not want to go. I'm afraid I'm going to break my screwdriver. Well, let's try some heat, shall we? turning but not very easily the the Klein let's see the Klein tools version seems to be a lot nicer than this westward version Okay, so the problem is that the the part of the threads that are stuck, as you can see, this rotates freely. 
So it's beyond this base is where the problem lies, and I can't get my penetrating catalyst down into the area that's affected. And the same thing goes for the heat. All I'm able to do is heat the head of the bolt, and it will transfer some heat, but it won't. I don't think it'll get it as hot as I need it to be able to break the bolt free. So I'm just going to keep working on this, and then I'll get back to you once I get it out.